A long time ago, there was a rich peasant living in a village who had two sons named Hugh and Dee. Before the father died, he asked his older son, Hugh, to give half of the inheritance to his brother when he got married. However, Hugh and his wife did not keep his father's last wish. They decided to keep most of the inheritance and gave Dee and his wife only a small rice paddy in a barren farmland and an old starfruit tree. Nonetheless, Dee and his wife were pleased with what they had and continued to work hard. They always took a little time to take care of the old starfruit tree and traded the starfruits for food in the nearby market. One day, Dee saw a giant raven who was eating all the starfruits. Dee begged the bird to stop eating the starfruits. The giant raven stopped for a while and said, If you let me eat your starfruits, I'll pay you back in gold. But you must prepare a three-foot pouch tomorrow. The following morning, the raven came back. (coughs) Prepare the pouch for the gold. Dee climbed onto his back, and then they flew away. The raven brought Dee to a gold mountain. Near the entrance of a cave, the raven said, You can take whatever you like. Though there were so many precious items there to take, Dee decided to fill only half of his pouch with gold and gems. When the raven saw the half-filled pouch, the raven asked, Why didn't you fully fill the pouch? Dee answered, This is good enough for me. Dee and his wife became very rich, but they still worked hard and had a successful living as farmers. His brother Hugh heard about the story of the raven and got jealous. One day, he and his wife forced Dee to trade the farmland and the starfruit tree for their larger plot of land and all the fortune they had. When the raven came back to eat the starfruits, the couple repeated the same thing as Dee before. The raven also said the same thing. If you let me eat your starfruits, I'll pay you back in gold. But you must prepare a three-foot pouch tomorrow. But out of greed, they decided to prepare a six-foot pouch instead of a three-foot pouch. Everything happened almost the same way. At last, Hugh entered the cave, filled with gold coins and precious gems. He crammed a lot of gold into the pouch. As soon as the raven took off again with Hugh on his back, it urged Hugh to throw away some of the gold coins. My wings are tired. If you don't drop some of the gold, we both may fall and die. But Hugh was too greedy to throw away such precious gold. Suddenly, the raven lost his balance and angrily cried, You are too greedy! You'll die with your gold! Hugh fell off from the back of the raven. He and his gold hit the sea and sunk all the way to the bottom. His precious gold and gems were no good to him at the bottom of the sea. Hugh knew now what the saying, Never bite what you cannot chew, means.